in today's video, you're going to meet a wonderful client who flew all the way from LA to Michigan to have me give her a pedicure and reshape her big toenails. So stay tuned. Before I get started, I have to give you a sneak peek. I loved doing this transformation. Can you see the area on her toe that was causing her so much discomfort? One reason it is so important to shorten nails like this is they can collect so much buildup under the toenail. This material is a collection of exfoliated skin cells, perspiration, dirt, and soap bubbles. And I know you think that sounds weird, but when you wash your body and your hair in the shower, the bubbles travel down your body and they travel the path of least resistance. They will get stuck under the nails, and if they aren't rinsed away, they dry and harden. In situations where someone has a toenail that gets thick or starts to curve, the nail can get worse if it's not thinned out because the nail will hit the top of the shoe or the end of the shoe they are wearing. And the trauma caused to the matrix of the nail hitting the shoe or just the pressure on the nail from the shoe will cause the nail to grow even more thick. And when the nail gets thick, it's hard to trim. And when it's hard to trim, it gets too long. It's just a vicious circle. But she did contemplate going to see a podiatrist to have it removed, but she wants to have a big toenail and doesn't want to go through the healing process of having a toenail removed. So I'm very flattered that she values my skills that she flew all the way from LA to Michigan for me to help her. Here I'm using the cross-cut medium fine ceramic bit with my electric file to shape and contour the surface of her nail. I'm using very light pressure, letting the equipment do the work. If you press down too hard, it will make a terrible squeal and you can build heat up and it will be very uncomfortable for the client. You need to be gentle and stay away from the live skin on the sides and the back of the nail. I like the ceramic cone bit because it is very easy to see how close you're getting to the cuticle area. Side note, I have a super fun announcement at the end when I'm polishing her nails. Um, to keep it from traveling around, I guess. Yeah.
I was wondering the same thing, so. But so far, so good. Something you do have to be very careful about when trimming a toenail like this. Her nail wall is growing over into the center of her nail bed. You can see the redness and the skin's kind of peeling away there at the tip. If I try to squeeze this nail, there is a chance that it will press down into her toenail. And that's what the pressure she feel okay? feels is. So I'm making sure that I'm not going to hurt her. I want to keep my communication really good so I don't just go ahead and squeeze and it presses. You have to also listen to their body language. You might do, you know, a short little squeeze and if you feel their toes start to tense. It takes a little curve or turn. It goes like this and then it goes down. So <laughs> I just want to be careful. So I end up using a nail file here in a minute. Well, maybe a couple of minutes. <laughs> but I do get a lot of this out of there. All right, now we'll do some filing. It's just the way your toenail grows. Remember how I said that it grows slower on the sides and faster in the middle, so you get those little yeah, lines. We can get a little bit of that area that was digging into the tip of your toe. It was pressing right there. I was probably pretty sore.
That probably hurts when it presses into your skin, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's really kind of itch. Yeah. Yeah, when I squeeze to try to trim it, it wants to press it down into your skin, so maybe we'll just try to file it. Yeah, you can for sure because um, the edge of that nail you know it's supposed to be growing over here and that's why we make those little impressions so it's trying to make a new impression vertically across and that's why it's so sore you can see this little indention here so it goes from here all the way back but being in the center of your nail, it's, it's pressing the toenail up too. so hard into your skin. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.